Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 30 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to uh, design a 3D like um, 3D like object by using gradients and the 3D tool inside of Adobe Illustrator. So in order to create 3D like objects, what you can do is you can simply uh, choose something uh, like a rounded rectangular, for example, let me just click and drag it out and I have a rounded rectangular shape over there. So you can increase the rounded rectangular shape over here right after I draw as you can see uh, over here in the illustrator window. So over here I just have a rounded rectangular, let me just color that out into shapes like this. Alright, so color that out into uh, something like a sky blue and then I'm going to color out the edges just like uh, this out here. All right, so once I do that, what I want to do is I want to give it a 3D look. So in order to do that, uh, I can simply go to Effects and I can go to 3D and then I can go to Extrude and Bevel right here. So once I do that, I'm just going to enable the preview right here. So you can see that you get a 3D look right out of the bat, just like that. So I can rotate this around to get the 3D uh, um, icon that I want. So let me just uh, add in the manual icon. Um, Ma I, let me just manually add in the degrees over here. So let's say this is going to be 35 degrees and 35 degrees over here. So there you go. There's like a 3D cube just there. All right. So in order to add more dimension to it now, I can actually manually add in some gradients over there. So for that, what I can do is right now, this is actually generated 3D icon, uh, 3D objects. So I'm just going to go into, ob uh, let's say, objects and then I'm going to expand appearance. So once I do that, you can see that it actually expands appearance over here. So I can expand the appearance, I can ungroup it a few times so that this becomes a uh, whole shape. So uh, let me just uh, click it and you can see that there you go. These are now separate shapes over here. So now what I can do is I can actually group them together. For example, let me just create a new layer for this. So let me just press Control X and then create a new layer over here and press Control F to, press, uh, to paste the layer on top um, on the same spot. If you just press Control V, then it'll uh, place it somewhere else. So I'm going to disable this. Let me just combine this shape by using Pathfinder right here. So let me just go to Pathfinder and then combine all of the shapes all together. All right, there you go. So once I do that, what I want to do is I want to give it a dynamic look over here. So in order to... Um, add something onto this shape right here. So let me just add in a gradient. So let me add gradient as this. All right, so let me use a radial gradient just like that. And then I'm going to use the color, the same color over here. And let me just choose a darker shade of uh, my color just like this. Okay, there you go, this darker shade. And then I'm going to choose a little brighter shade on this spot right here. So let me just uh, change these, um, change this out let me just choose a darker color over here like this all right there you go so you can see that there's a more dynamic effect uh, once you select gradients so for this now what you can do is let's say this uh, light is shining from this direction right here so i'm gonna choose gradient over here so gradient is there and let me just uh, drag out the gradient just like this. So I'm going to drag it from this spot. Let me just drag the gradient just like this. And you can see that it seems as the light is shining from that direction right there. All right, there you go. So now over here uh, in this section, what we can do is we can add in some more gradients. So let me just go to gradients just like this. And then let me just go to linear gradients. And then let me change the angle of the gradients as well. So right here somewhere in the center, what I want to do is I want to add in a white spot because... Uh, the uh, center is going to be this spot right here. So I'm going to mark the center point over here. So you can see that the order is the same as the gradient over here, just like this. So you have the sky blue color and here's the sky blue. Dark blue is over here and then you have the white color over here on the center. So I'm just going to click on the angle and then I'm going to move my um, a mouse scroll button right there to rotate out the angle, just like this. All right, so you can see that there's a dynamic effect already. So I can just move the white spot over here to, on the direction that I want. Okay, so let me just say I want a bit of a shine. Let's click and drag to get the sweet spot right there. All right, there you go. So you can see that the uh, effect, the dynamic effect is much more. I'm just going to use, let's say, uh, a sharper effect right there. Let me just drag this out. Click and drag it to the end for a sharper level of effect. Click and drag it to the end for a sharper level effect. And you can see that it seems like a little bit of shine 
uh, on the edge just like that all right there you go so let me just push it out and over here i don't read i nearly really need a, a bright shine i can just go to a dark shine right here so over here let me just select the white color over here and then use a bright color maybe let me just go to the color picker and choose the color that i want all right so now it actually seems like a shine at the edge so over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the end right here all right so my light is coming off from the side that i got to remember and over here uh what i can do is i can choose a darker color as well so let me just choose a dark color just like this uh double click on this spot choose a dark color just like this uh maybe a bit dark color all right so i want to make sure that this area is a bit darker than what it is all right so i'm going to choose a similar color right there and over here i'm going to select uh, more of a bluish color as well more of a bluish tint just click it and choose a bluish tint over here uh, and just blue to up uh, choose a bluish tint over here let me just select this out double click choose a bluish tint all right there you go so you can see that you can get kind of a like a 3d effect right out of that so now if you want to add in some more effect what you can do is you can add in a bit more of your um, stroke over here so let me just increase the level of the stroke over here just like this and what i can do to the stroke is i can decrease the opacity of the stroke uh, so that it seems like there's some s on uh, to my design so i can simply go to the um, as loop um, in, into the as is right here and i can decrease the level of opacity just like this uh, i just want to uh, decrease the opacity for the line over here so over here let me just go to the stroke over here and then on the stroke itself let me just uh, click on the stroke uh, yes that is not there right here let me just expand the object press ok and I'm going to un ungroup this out so I got a separate stroke. Let me ungroup that again so that my stroke separates out. All right, now I can decrease the opacity of the stroke itself to give it a more dynamic look just like this. So let me just decrease the opacity of the stroke just a bit. Or maybe uh, I'm going to choose black over here so I can have a black like stroke. And then I'm going to uh, multiply this. All right, so I'm going to choose blending option over here. If you're not familiar with blending option, it is kind of similar to uh, the blending option in Photoshop. But in order to access the blending option in Illustrator, what you can do is you can select this and then you can go to the transparency option. Even from the Windows menu, there's transparency. Uh, and then over here in the normal section, just choose multiply. All right, so once you choose multiply, you can see that the edges is like this. All right, there you go. So now what I can do is, uh, let's say, drag this out just to the side. Let me just like uh, erase the other portions off, just like that. Let me erase this portions out right here. All right. Okay. So maybe I should create something like a clipping mask out of this. So I'm just going to zoom back. All right. So let me just go over here. Just white again. All right uh multiply let's use lighten over there all right so it seems like it is there in the um uh, there in the shape itself all right so there you go i have my option right here let me just group them together now this is an object so you can see that i can create a very dynamic looking object inside of illustrator so this is not real 3d but you can uh, make it look as if it is in a 3d environment so i can control and copy paste this and you can see that I can create multiple versions of this as well. So this is how you work with uh, uh, you. This is how you work with the um, a gradient tool inside of Adobe Illustrator to create three D objects and give an illusion of three D depth inside of objects inside of Illustrator. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And what you can also do is maybe create shadows like reflections out of this. So you can actually uh, group this out. Uh, then copy and paste this out and reverse this out as well to create a reflection like item so you can also decrease the opacity of these to uh, let it seem as if uh, those are the reflections so you can see that this gives a much more dynamic effect onto the scene 
so just to make sure that uh, this has a dynamic effect okay let me just create multiple copies of this you can see that i can create this kind of a design easily right from the scratch inside of uh, illustrator so if you're doing the same thing in photoshop it would take a lot of time so what i can do is i can create let me say a rectangular tool let me just create a new layer drag the layer onto the bottom and then drag everything out uh, onto the third layer just drag it out like that and then uh, I'm going to use my gradient tool. Let me use my radial gradient tool over there uh, and then drag the radial gradient right there. So let me just go to the radial gra the gradient tool right there and drag the, let me just go to the uh, gradient. Let me just select this. Seems like I selected the edges for the gradient. So let me just select the fill color and click gradient over there. There you go, there's the gradient. And then let's, let me just select blue over here let me just select uh, neon blue just like this and then over here uh, some brighter level of blue just like this all right so brighter level of blue over here let me just decrease the opacity of it all right so opacity just decrease the opacity of it there you go there's the blue right there all right so maybe i should make this a bit darker all right uh, maybe a bit darker let me just go over here darker darker all right darker there you go so now you see that i have a design right there so if you want to create logos 3d logos and everything else and it is actually possible with the use of illustrator so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe